Picture this, it's 1962, the era of suave sophistication and cinematic charm. You settle into the plush theater seat, the room hushed in anticipation. The silver screen flickers to life, introducing you to a world where spies are dapper, villains are enigmatic, and the stakes are as high as the stakes of a poker game in a dimly lit casino. Enter Dr. No, the film that laid the foundation for an iconic cinematic franchise. From the moment Sean Connery's James Bond graced the screen, it was Clerthize was no ordinary spy thriller. The tantalizing allure of exotic locations, the magnetic pull of intrigue, and the unmistakable twang of that guitar riff in the opening credits. It was a cinematic rendezvous that etched itself into the fabric of cultural memory. Think back to that initial encounter with Dr. No. Was it the mysterious allure of Ursula Andress emerging from the Caribbean waves, an image forever seared into the collective consciousness? Or perhaps it was the first utterance of the immortal words, Bond, James Bond, the kind of introduction that echoed through decades, making every subsequent Bond actor measure up to the suavity of Connery's delivery. As you reflect on those moments, let's dive into the fascinating world behind the scenes. The magic of Dr. No extends beyond the captivating storyline it's woven into the very fabric of cinema history. A tapestry of random facts awaits, each thread contributing to the rich narrative of this iconic film. So, buckle up for a journey through time and celluloid as we unveil the lesser-known tales behind Dr. No. Get ready for revelations that will deepen your appreciation for the film that started it all. And there you have it a tantalizing glimpse into the enigmatic world of Dr. No. Fasten your seatbelts, we're about to embark on a ride through the annals of cinematic greatness. Dr. No, released in 1962, is the inaugural film in the iconic James Bond series, adapted from Ian Fleming's novels. This cinematic gem introduced audiences to the suave and fearless British Secret Service agent, James Bond, played by Sean Connery. The film's plot revolves around Bond's mission to investigate the mysterious disappearance of a fellow MI6 agent in Jamaica, and his encounter with the enigmatic Dr. Julius No, portrayed by Joseph Weissman. Dr. No established the blueprint for the Bond franchise, characterized by its espionage, exotic locations, clever gadgets, and memorable villains. It was known for its distinct style, blending action, romance, and wit, with Connery's portrayal of Bond leaving an indelible mark. The film's success launched a cinematic phenomenon, shaping popular culture and spawning numerous sequels and adaptations. Dr. No not only kickstarted the enduring legacy of James Bond, but also paved the way for the modern spy thriller genre, making it a timeless classic in the world of cinema. In the 1962 movie Dr. No, Jamaica played a significant role as a filming location. This choice was not coincidental. Five of Ian Fleming's original James Bond novels and short stories were set in Jamaica. These works include Live and Let Die, Dr. No, For Your Eyes Only, The Man with the Golden Gun, and Octopussy, all of which were written at the Golden Eye Estate in Jamaica. The island's lush landscapes and exotic allure set the stage for the cinematic world of James Bond, making it an essential backdrop for the film series. Contrary to popular belief, the iconic line, Bond, James Bond, is not the first thing James Bond says in the movie. Instead, he opens with the words, I admire your courage, miss. The famous introduction line is delivered a bit later when Bond's face is revealed on screen. This distinction is a subtle but intriguing aspect of the film's dialogue. One of the most memorable scenes in Doctor No features Ursula Andress emerging from the sea in a white bikini. The bikini she wore became a symbol of Bond films. In 2001, Ursula Andress sold this iconic piece of cinematic history at Christie's Auctions in London. The bikini fetched 35000 purchased by Robert Earl of Planet Hollywood. With commissions and taxes, the final price reached around 41000 surpassing its estimated value. The bikini's top was ingeniously crafted from an underwire bra from Saks Fifth Avenue in New York City, transformed by costume designer Tessa Wellborn. The belt in the movie was fashioned from a white webbing army belt, adorned with brass fittings, and a scabbard. This fashion statement triggered a surge in bikini swimwear sales after the film's release. In Dr. No, Jamaica's role, Bond's memorable introduction, and the famous white bikini all left their indelible marks on the cinematic world, 
in popular culture. These elements continue to be celebrated in the legacy of James Bond films. In the 1962 movie Dr. No, one remarkable aspect of the plot is Dr. Noss' extensive spy network. Despite never leaving his domain, he is remarkably well informed about what's happening. Even when Professor Dent goes to Crab Key to warn Dr. No about James Bond's proximity, Dr. No calmly informs him that he's already aware of the situation. This knowledge comes from his network of spies, all of whom are Chinese or of Chinese descent. Miss Taro is stationed in the British government office. A female photographer repeatedly attempts to capture Bond on film, and there's a Chinese woman working as a secretary in Professor Dent's office. Even the infamous three blind mice assassins are revealed to be part of this network in the novel, being identified as half black and half Chinese. Paying close attention to the film, you can spot the three blind mice in the background when Bond and the police superintendent arrive at Strangway's home, identifiable by their characteristic single file walking as part of their blind men cover. This extensive spy network demonstrates Dr. Noss cunning and resourcefulness, allowing him to keep tabs on his enemies without ever leaving his lair. In 1962, the movie Dr. No hit the screens, marking the beginning of the iconic James Bond film series. This film, produced by United Artists, didn't receive much promotion initially. United Artists was reportedly unhappy with it and opted for a quiet release. However, as word spread, the film turned out to be a massive success. The unexpected triumph of Dr. No compelled United Artists to double the budget for the next James Bond film, From Russia With Love, realizing the potential of this franchise. A common misconception about the James Bond series is the origin of the famous James Bond theme. While it is often attributed to John Barry, it actually came from a song called Good Sign, Bad Sign, composed by Monty Norman for an aborted musical, The House of Mr. Biss Was. John Barry later arranged and orchestrated Norman's theme, giving birth to the renowned James Bond theme known worldwide. In 1964, this movie also earned recognition when Ursula Andress received a Golden Globe Award for Best Newcomer. Her iconic emergence from the sea as Honey Rider left a lasting impact on the Bond series. Dr. No set the stage for a cinematic phenomenon that continues to captivate audiences with intrigue, action, and the suave charm of James Bond. Its unexpected success, the origin of the iconic theme, and Ursula Andress recognition all played a part in shaping the enduring legacy of the Bond franchise. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic world of Dr. No, we find ourselves at the crossroads of nostalgia and cinematic marvel. The year was 1962, and a certain suave, impeccably dressed secret agent named James Bond graced the silver screen for the very first time. The film, Dr. No, was the inception of a legacy that has captured hearts, shaken not stirred, ever since. Now, it's your turn to dive into the treasure trove of memories, to reminisce about that moment when Sean Connery's Bond burst onto the scene. When Ursula Andress emerged from the glistening waves, or when the nefarious Dr. No, portrayed by Joseph Weissman, left you both in awe and trepidation. What emotions did this iconic movie evoke within you? Was it the captivating storyline, the exotic locales, or the iconic introduction of our charismatic spy that left a lasting impression? Perhaps it's the vintage allure of the 1960s, the allure of a bygone era, or the knowledge that you're revisiting the very origin of a cinematic legend. Whatever it may be, we invite you to share your cherished memories, musings, or reflections on Dr. No. Let your thoughts flow as you unlock the secrets of your personal connection to this cinematic masterpiece. Your voice, your perspective, and your unique experience are the keys to preserving the magic of Dr. No. Share your favorite moments, characters, or the impact this film had on your love for spy thrillers. Let's keep the conversation alive and continue to celebrate this timeless classic. Thank you for taking this cinematic journey with us for your time and passion. Your thoughts are the essence of our shared appreciation for the cinematic treasure that is Dr. No. And remember, this reflection was...